Hey, what's up guys? It's Siri Lord. Uh, this is basically, it's not really a gaming update, but it's basically a uh, informational video. I kind of want to ask you guys who watch my content and uh, spend a lot of time investing your hard-earned time into my channel, what you basically want for the uh, rest of my channel. And um, no, this is not an emergency video. I know I made that like a month ago at this time, basically all stressed out and, you know, what am I going to do about the channel and things seemed really down. Um, I think just because at the time I made that video, I was stressed out about Resident Evil 6, me playing that game, and I was just, I didn't know what to do. Uh, right now, I'm in the middle of a couple of big releases, and I want to get feedback from the fans as to what they think I should play uh, between these games. Because I do have some options, and then I'm also going to reveal something which I think is going to make a lot of my fans happy. Uh, I'll, I guess I can just say it right now. I was hoping that I could keep this a surprise for as long as I possibly could, but I guess the cat's going to be out of the bag. Um, I am looking to, well actually I will be, this Christmas as a Christmas gift to myself and obviously the fans who watch the content, I will be getting some form of HD capture device. Yes, I know, it is a big announcement for the channel. Uh, no, I, again, this it's, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to replace the camera, but it's definitely going to substitute for some videos that I do. Okay, so for example, as most people know, I used to be into competitive Halo 3. When Halo 3 came out in 2007, I was competitive with it. I was highly ranked. I won some cash prizes. I almost fought the creators of Halo in my clan. I loved the game. Then in late 2008, I kind of started falling out with the game. You know, they had released some new achievements and stuff, but I started losing interest in the game. And then in 2009, 2010, 2011, I just never touched Halo. I just kind of fell out with the game. I didn't practice. I didn't keep up on my skills, and I did not get good. And now I've kind of lost a lot of the skills that I practiced with my clan in the 2007-2008 era. Um, I do have some of the skills, and... I've been noticing that they're starting to come back as I play Halo 4. And I've been doing a lot of offline matches, which means I haven't been filming a lot of the multiplayer matches that I've been playing. I've been doing a lot of off-camera stuff. So, basically, I've been wanting to film all of these Halo matches, the big team Slayers. I, I've, uh, I think so far I've uploaded five Infinity Slayer multiplayer matches. And I think like three of those videos I was just screwing around talking to some friends. So I'm looking to basically um, <coughs> use my HD capture device to capture gameplay for Halo 4's multiplayer because I'm starting to get really good at the game. I'm starting to know how to get back to the strafing, you know, when you have a battle rifle or a carbine or even the new uh, Forerunner weapon that could be the rifle weapon. Uh, there's a way to strafe and get headshots at the same time so you can outmatch your opponent, it's called, so you win. And I, again, I mastered this technique during the Halo 3 era. Now I kind of have to adapt because Halo 4 is not the same as Halo 3. It is very, it's changed. Uh, there's no more equipment, you know, you have armor abilities, it's, it's a little different, the weapons are different, you kind of have kill streaks with the ordnance and stuff where you can call in overshield and new weapons and forerunner weapons that change the game style. Um, so I'm definitely fine-tuning my skills to Halo 4. The addition of the battle rifle to Halo 4 is very welcomed because it was my weapon of choice. It's the weapon I practiced and used all the time in Halo 3. They did not have the battle rifle in Halo Reach. They only had the DMR, so I was kind of pissed because I didn't really like the DMR. I considered the DMR just to be an upgraded magnum. It really didn't do much damage. Well, no, it did damage, but I just didn't prefer using it. I liked the battle rifle's three-shot burst. I preferred that. So, nonetheless, I was happy when I figured out the battle rifle was for Halo 4. But to get back on topic, the point is for Halo 4's multiplayer, I would, this Christmas, maybe if I do like a Christmas kind of special kind of thing, play games and stuff with fans, because um, I know some fans have been wondering, oh, when are you going to do a fan appreciation? I'm going to be doing it soon. I'm probably going to do it the week after Black Ops 2 comes out, to be quite honest. Again, I'm going to be saying this in a gaming update, but 
Uh, a lot of people have been asking about Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer, Black Ops 2, which is coming out next week, and also Halo 4, the big multiplayer, the, the huge three games. These, are, these three games are the big three, the big three titles that I've been waiting for. Two of them have come out, and um, the last one comes out next week, and I will be playing it. But, um, but as far as Halo 4's multiplayer goes... I definitely can see myself doing multiplayer for that game. Um, I think it's going to be cool because, again, I was I was very competitive at the game at a time in my life, and I'm playing through it off camera. I'm starting to see that I'm getting my skills back. So I'm asking you guys: Is that something that you'd be interested in? That's one. <clears throat> sorry, that's one option I'm throwing out there to you guys. Would you like to see? Uh, Halo 4 match, it's almost like what people, I know there are some people online who do like Infinity Slayer, 4 versus 4, you know, 31 and 4, awesome match. You know, I'm not usually one to do that stuff, but because Halo is a game that I practiced a lot with at a point in time in my life, I think it's something that I might be able to pull off. I can't pull it off with Call of Duty, I'll admit firsthand that I'm not very good at Call of Duty, I kind of suck. I can't do that for Black Ops 2. I could, maybe if I get lucky, I could get one lucky match. But I'm better at Halo than I am Call of Duty. I'm going to say that right now. So, if that's something you're interested in, seeing me play multiplayer with, an, with like an Elgato game capture or an HD PVR, I'm looking to upgrade. I have some prices already priced out. I think like in the $130, $150 range. I looked on Amazon. It might be something I might ask a relative to get me for Christmas or... If I don't get it for Christmas and I just get money and stuff from relatives, I might put my money together and then go out to a store and purchase it around the holiday season, the time when people purchase gifts for each other. Um, so yes, I just want to say though, at some point, I am going to be getting an HD PVR. So things are going to change. The major change probably is going to be me having to figure out how to adapt to the HD PVR. It's different. It's not like what I do now. With this, I... Basically, just all I do is I put a camera on a tripod, hook up a power cord so that the camera doesn't have to run out of uh, juice, and then I aim it at my TV, adjust the brightness, and then make sure that the camera is fitting the width of the TV, and then that's it. And then on the fly, I'll check the camera every once in a while to stop the video, or I'll check for the brightness because sometimes I will have brightness problems like... Right now, I think the brightness is okay, but there are, again, there are times when the brightness um, does suffer, unfortunately, and um, I do have problems. People can't read text. Sometimes the audio isn't always as clear. I don't know. I mean, it might, again, it's if, it's if you guys want it, because I'm constantly being told by people, oh, your quality isn't that good. You have to get up with the HD quality stuff to even have a chance to compete in the YouTube game, you know, in the YouTube gaming arena. So, I'm looking to get an HD PVR. Most likely I'll get one. If there's an overwhelming dislike for it, like, oh no, you should stick to the camera, we like the camera, it's easy for us to watch, easy for us to li listen to, I'll be quite honest, it's easy for me to upload with the camera, I've been doing it for, o for over a year now, and I've mastered the style of uploading videos with the camera. Uh, it's not very hard for me to do it. And uh, if the files aren't that big, I mean, they sometimes can when I upload a lot of videos. But for the most part, I enjoy using the camera. Again, the only drawback is that the quality kind of sucks sometimes, and the audio isn't always as clear. I think the audio is fine. It's just the quality. Mainly the brightness. I've been fucking around with this TV a lot, trying to get a good brightness setting. And it's been giving me issues in some parts, but... Uh, nonetheless, I am trying to find a way to fix that, and um, I'm hoping that I can find a solution for that. I haven't really found a solution for the TV thing. I mean, I don't think there's, en there's ever going to be the perfect TV which will give me pristine video quality. HD, is always, HD uh, recording devices are always going to beat a camera, and I know that for a fact. So. so that's something that I'm thinking of. So, if you would like to see me upgrade to an HD PVR or an Elgato Game Capture, which is the brand I'm going to think of going with, uh, please comment and let me know, because it's definitely the fans that I'm doing this for, and it's the fans that I would like to hear from uh, your opinion on this. Now, aside from that, what other things can I do with my YouTube channel? Because 
for a long time, I'm sure most people have seen this, but for a long time, I've kind of had the structure on my channel. I would get a game. So, for instance, uh, let's choose... I'm trying to think of a game that... I don't know. How about Dishonored? Dishonored. I pick up Dishonored. I unbox the game. Well, actually, I didn't do an unboxing for Dishonored, but I, un I unbox the game. And then I start uploading 20 videos. Let's say I take 20 videos. I use the camera, I take 20 videos, and I upload 20 videos of Dishonored. 99% of the time what happens is a lot of people will watch part one because it's obviously the beginning of a new playthrough for my channel. And then, subsequently, the parts will start to lose views. Part one will start out with maybe 200 views, I'll say, because that's how the Assassin's Creed 3 playthrough went. I got like 300 views part one. And then, after that, the views start going down. Part 2 might have 100, part 3 might have 50, part 4 might have 20, and then subsequently the views start going lower and lower and lower, unless I stop uploading and I make a video stick as the main video. Now, I could do a number of things to fix that. I could not upload so many videos in a day, maybe only upload 5 videos, or I could continue doing that, uploading a whole bunch of videos in a day, because for me, when I upload a lot of videos in a day, it helps me to stay on track with my schedule because if I save all of my videos, I'm going to get, I'm not going to get caught up. I'm not going to have time to move on to other games. I'm always going to have these videos lingering and people are going to get tired of watching you know, Halo every single day. What if for the Halo co-op campaign, what if I had only uploaded two videos each day? I would, I would, it, it would take me till the end of November just to upload the Halo co-op campaign. So that's why I refrain from doing that. Now, again, maybe, should I focus maybe on one video? Maybe I shouldn't be doing playthroughs because playthroughs are kind of hefty for games that are long, like, you know, Resident Evil 6 was an example, games that are really long, people don't necessarily want to sit through an entire playthrough like that. So, would you rather see, like, a walkthrough video or would you rather see one video, one video that I put a lot, a lot of time into, maybe I go into Sony Vegas and I edit it and I put all types of fancy text, fancy intros, fancy conclusions, you know, I, I voice, I do voiceovers, and I show amazing effects, and things are blowing up, and it's the greatest video you've ever seen, because I put a lot of time into it, and that's the video, I put all my time, and all my efforts into one single video, and I leave that video up so that people can see it more than, say, another one. That's something that I've thought about, and to be honest, I've done it a couple of times before. For Borderlands 2, there were two videos where I did like walkthrough videos on secret stuff in the game. And those videos have just about a thousand views. Why? Because I put a lot of time into making sure they were quality videos and I had information to bring to the table. Whereas my playthrough, it, it, I don't think, now I'm not saying people don't want to watch my content, but for a playthrough, you really have to have an absolute desire to watch that person play the game. If someone comes across my video of like a, a playthrough of a game, part 60, they really have to know me to want to watch that part. And I don't name my videos. I don't say Dishonored part 20, this is the part where Corvo does this to this person and such and such. I don't name my videos with what's going on in the video. And maybe that's bad. Maybe I should start doing that. Maybe I should say, oh, this is the part where Master Chief does this to the Prometheans and blah, blah, blah. All right, part five, this is the part where blah, 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 blah. Maybe I should be more specific in my video descriptions, you know what I mean? That way, when people search for the videos, they'll be more inclined to see, oh, this guy, you know, this is the part I was looking for because I know when I want to find a specific part of a gameplay video on YouTube, I'll search what I'm looking for by the description. And if I see someone's playthrough and it just says part 21, well, that doesn't give me much information to go off of, you know? I don't know what that video has in it. I have to watch the entire video to get a clip and it might not be what I'm looking for and then the quality people might get angry about that and it might go downhill from there. These are just hypotheticals I'm thinking in my head of things that might be going on with the channel. It's not, I don't, I'm not saying any of it is what's going it, or is what's happening but I'm thinking in some ways it is in some ways, not entirely, but I think in some ways that it is. And I think this definitely tells me that I need to focus on different things for the channel. So let me 
close, I'm not going to make the video long, I'm already in 15 minutes, so let me close out the video by saying this. There are definitely going to be some changes coming to my channel in the next couple of weeks and even by the end of the year. I'm basically going to make a stance by the end of the year to have a totally, not an entirely new stance for the channel, but I want to have a new approach for the channel. I want to do something different, I want to differentiate myself, and I want to have a new vibe, something new to bring to the table, kind of reinvigorate a love of gaming in a different way. Because I've expressed my love of video games in many different ways. I've done, I've reviewed games, I've done full playthroughs of games, I've done multiplayer, I've done co-op, I've done some walkthroughs, I haven't done a whole lot of walkthroughs, but the walkthroughs that I have done get a lot of hits from my fans because I know that people like that kind of content. People want to find that kind of content. People who are playing these new games need help on certain levels. And especially with a game like Halo 4, which I know so much about, that would be an amazing opportunity for me to teach people how to play the game. So, let me just end by saying, uh, once again, I need your feedback. Obviously, I would appreciate it if you could comment on this video and tell me what you want. If you're a fan of mine, tell me what, what do you want from the channel? Do you want some multiplayer stuff? Do you want me to keep doing playthroughs? Do you want me to upgrade to the do you want me to upgrade to the Elgato game capture, some sort of HD capture card recording device? Or do you want me to just do what I've always done, do playthroughs each and every week, do the new games that come out and kind of just stick with it, have people, you know, do co-op with me every once in a while, uh, have some cool things like conventions that pop up in, the, you know, a couple of months, you know, I know the convention MAGFest will be happening in early January because I went last year and I had a lot of fun. So there's always stuff like that which adds a little bit of a spark to the channel every once in a while. But, um, you know, just tell me what you want. Just tell me. It doesn't, it, it could be anything. It could literally be anything. If you want me to do fucking, you know, porn with elephants, I don't care. I'll do it. I mean, <laughs> the sky's the limit for my channel. I'm trying to figure out, um, some, some different direction I can give the channel because I feel like what I'm doing now kind of falls by the wayside to be quite honest. So many people, let, let me be honest, so many people on YouTube are uploading gaming footage. Every single day there's another person that constantly jumps on the YouTube bandwagon thinking that they can get rich off of YouTube in seconds, they glitch the system, they make all sorts of videos asking and pleading and praying on their knees for subscribers, please like this video, comment this video, subscribe, and help me, it helps me, you must share this video, oh! It's like they're sh it's like they literally are grabbing you through your computer and shaking your throat telling you to do something. And I don't do that. My catchphrase is, a, is enjoy, and as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. That's optional, that's just been my catchphrase since the beginning of my channel. I always just put that at the end just to add a little bit of a closure to the, to the description of my video. You can, do what you, you can do whatever you want with my content. It's open to people, and I let people criticize it for what it is, and I don't ask people to do stuff that they wouldn't normally do of their own volition. So, Okay, that's all I have to say for you. This is just a uh, end of, almost like an end-of-the-year kind of recap. Uh, right now, it's November 8th, so this is a pretty good time to be kind of recapping on the channel. So far this year, I've made two videos, like emergency videos, kind of, me concerned about the views on my channel. Uh, the last emergency video I did a month ago was, I was all stressed out, I was like, oh, this channel's a failure. But now, right now I'm calm and composed and I can take a step back and really see that people want different things from a YouTube gaming channel. They want, they, they want to be entertained. It's almost like watching TV. When you turn on the TV channel, you want to be entertained. Are you going to watch Family Guy? Are you going to watch South Park, NBC? You want to be entertained by whatever you're watching. You want to know that what you're watching is going to be worth your time that you're investing because your time is worthy of other people who put out this entertainment for uh, your purposes. So, thank you for watching. I definitely appreciate you watching and everything else you guys do for my channel. And I hope that any feedback you give me is good and constructive and that it will help me grow my channel in the future. Again, I have many options. Um, I'm hoping I can bring my competitive nature of Halo into the picture of my channel. I'm hoping that I can bring a lot of my old friends into my channel who've had different gaming interests. 
and maybe I could even do some really old games. I know a lot of my videos that have a lot of views are from old games on the PC, like the Lionel Train Town, Age of Empires. I could go back to some PC gaming because I know those playthroughs were really, really popular and uh, people might want to see those things. I have a lot of old PS2 games stored up, so I could always crack one of those open if you want to see one. So again, lots of options. And uh, basically, I hope you know whatever you, whatever you choose will be the right decision for me and the right decision for you because you're the person being entertained and you're the person that really matters in the end. I matter as well, but you're the one who matters because I'm putting the content up for you. Okay. Thanks. I'm the Aerie Lord. I will see you for more gameplay. Probably more Halo 4. Uh, but again, whatever you want, I will do it. So thanks. See you later.